Hello, my name is Felix Klebe, Advanced Sensei Marketing Manager for Omron Automation Americas. I'd like to welcome you to view our short series of web link tutorial videos for the MicroHawk barcode readers. These videos are designed to help you get the most value from your MicroHawk. WebLink is the browser-based configuration and viewing utility that lets you easily set up and monitor your MicroHawk barcode reader. The topic of today's video is WebLink's match string functionality in the standard mode. As mentioned, we'll discuss in this video the match string function. This setting allows you to program the reader to search for a specific data string within the barcode. Match string has three different modes, standard, wildcard, and sequential. We'll focus in this video on the standard mode. First off, let's take a look at how you can enable match string. What we're looking at is the standard interface for the WebLink utility. Note that web match string can only be used in the triggered, start, stop, and custom modes. At the top left of the WebLink interface, you'll see the dropdown where you can select the various modes. Right now we have this set up for continuous mode and we want to switch that so we're going to change it to the rapid capture mode. To open the match string editor we look further down the page and you can see that we have a selection button on or off for match string. So in the default position it is off. Once we enable it you can see there is a mode defined here as standard which is the default. We click on the standard keyword and it opens up the menu. Within the menu, you can see a drop-down for the various modes, standard, wildcard, and sequential. So we're going to leave it in the standard mode. Next, we look at what we're trying to match against. We could be looking for a match of all the characters within the barcode to a desired value, or a partial match for uh, a subset of the information within the barcode. In this case, we're first going to explore a partial match. You can see here we have selected a start, which indicates the start character. In this case, three, it'll look for the third character within the data string, and then it will look for a length of three characters. In our match string database, we have for number one, a 787, so that is what we're trying to, to match against. So we'll close this, and now we will trigger the reader, and you can see on the lower right, each time I trigger the reader manually with a mouse click, we're getting a match because this barcode indicated here has the three characters we're looking for, 787, in the correct position. If we substitute that barcode for another barcode, which does not have that same characteristic, you can see down here the data says microhawk, so no longer the 787, and when I trigger the reader, we're now getting the word mismatch, indicating that we aren't able to find the desired characters. So if we go back into the database menu, we can also select a second database that we're going to match against. Um, we now go back and look for the earlier barcode, and we're getting a positive match for each time we trigger the reader. That's a quick overview of the match string functionality. We'll be talking in next videos about the sequential and wildcard modes. Thank you for your time today, and we look forward to talking with you again soon.